like with a slice of this cheesecake in my pocket, though, like to take with me. Matter of fact, I might carry the whole box. Take with you where? Anywhere I go. <laughs> oh my god. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today is Wednesday, October 13th. And this weekend, actually starting tomorrow through this weekend, it's gonna be so eventful. So I cannot wait for y'all to see this vlog. Went to Starbucks and I got a iced brown sugar oatmeal espresso shaken. And I've heard really good things about this, but I'm about to try it and I really hope that it's good. So let's see. It actually is really good if you like the taste of coffee. I feel like I could use a little bit more oat milk just to make it like more creamy. But yes, yeah, so I wanted to get on here before my boyfriend comes over tonight because I wanna tell y'all about like what we're about to do. So um, on my lunch break today, I'm going to make him a Oreo cheesecake because He's coming over so we can bring his birthday in. But y'all know cheesecakes take like 10 hours to like cool. And then after it cools, I have to add the topping on there. So yeah, I'm I'm really rushing against time right now. And that's why I sound so frantic because I'm just like, oh my God. I will be doing my hair because it looks a hot mess right now. But um <laughs> He always does this. Hush. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be straightening my hair at some point this weekend. So I'm gonna be back looking real cute. You know, I've been looking busted for a couple days, but I'm about to be back. Okay, y'all, so I got my cheesecake together literally within one hour exactly. So I'm gonna let this sit in the oven for an hour and five minutes. And then I'll be back once it is all cooled and stuff and I have it all together. I like getting money, I got time to get it. Target on me, so my car's a tenant. Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it. Bobbing in a dash, and the stick is with it. And I hit the four or five on the wet side. But I'm on the east side, this how we slide. This how we ride, yeah, yeah, this how we ride. Don't pro, don't pro, no lead, no lead. Make it easy like one, two, three. Go, 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 go. On three, two, a fly to you can't see me. Swish, yeah. Falling from the first whistle, we go all in. All in. And one. All in. Okay, you can come. Cake, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. You know? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Cheesecake, bro. You right. <laughs> Y'all ain't getting none, but I'll show you. We <laughs> made that? I don't know. I she, did. Yeah. How you gonna say I don't know? I, I spent all day on this thing. I spent all day. day. For real. It took like 12 Thanks. hours. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, hey, listen. Is it good? <laughs> I probably I ain't even wait on you. It's okay. I couldn't know. Mm. 
mad I messed up my slice though. Like yours look way better than mine. But it tastes good though. Mm-hmm. I ain't tripping. It does taste good. Cool. I'm protecting this shit at all costs. <laughs> Don't play with them. I might put a slice of this cheesecake in my pocket though, like to take with me. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, I might carry the whole box. Take with you where? Anywhere I go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Who gonna I'm say not something? I'm about to deal with you. <laughs> that cheesecake gonna be my accessory. Who gonna say something? Man, this nigga got a cheesecake. That's right. I'm weak. Have you ever, That's when you're at school, have you ever had like the Oreos and then you drink some orange juice? No, I, I don't eat Oreos by themselves. Me neither, but like, I feel like I did when I was a kid just because I was a kid. Yeah. But, like, if you drink orange juice after eating Oreos, it's really horrible. Like, it's just the nastiest taste ever. And I'm low-key hoping that apple juice doesn't give that same... Take it, yeah. It's, it's almost, okay. It's almost like... So I guess it's not acidic. Or yeah. Not acidic. When I drink Gatorade after brushing your teeth. That's oh, yeah. I, I guess anything after you brush your teeth. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. <clears throat> All right, let's do this. I'm stressed. You ready? <laughs> no. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I smelled Are it. you counting down? I thought you said three. All right, three, two, one. All right. Ah. Uh. It's in my chest. Just sitting there. Meep, meep. <laughs> I'm going to thank you for this, everything, especially the cheesecake. <laughs> Probably like a thousand times tomorrow. Oh. I am in the kitchen about to prepare something to eat for dinner. I'm going to have some cocktail shrimp. So I got this shrimp from Aldi, and all you have to do is thaw it out. And I have some cocktail sauce from Harris Teeter. It's like the zesty kind. This week Thursday was my boyfriend's birthday. Um, and we had so much fun. I took him to get a Manny and Petty. We went to get some lunch, took him to dinner, went to the fair in Raleigh, um, which that was my first time going to the fair. And I don't know if the fair was like in commission last year, but it was slam packed, y'all. We didn't get to ride any rides, but it was still a good time just being out there. Um, so this weekend, we are flying to Baltimore, which is where he's from. Um, his mother's 50th birthday was today. So happy birthday, Miss Monica. Um, so we're gonna fly for this weekend for her birthday party. And I actually got some new cow pack luggage that I've been eyeing for the past at least the past eight months but um it kept being sold out so they had a sale and I got the package I got it so I'm probably gonna wait till tomorrow to unbox that because I'm looking a little busted right now Hey y'all, it is Tuesday and I am getting ready to go to acting class. So I'm cooking a quick dinner just so I won't be starving my butt off in there. And um, so I decided to make a honey dill salmon, which I got from Sam's Club. And this is my Ninja Air Fry, which is the best thing probably in my kitchen. Um, so this is the salmon that I used. And I also used some rice from Trader Joe's, the jasmine rice, which is here. And over here, I have some Cajun cream sauce cooking just to put over top everything. And it has a um, 
some spinach in it just for a little bit of greens. I'm trying to record my cow pack unboxing before I went to class, but the landscapers were outside doing what they do and Jackson was going nuts, like complete ham. So um, I am going to do that when I get out of class. So let's try it. Let's see how it is. I like to drown my stuff in sauce. Hmm, I'm not sure. Mm. So good. Mm, it has a kick to it. I wasn't sure how I would like the combination of honey and dill flavored with Cajun cream in the sauce, but I put a little lemon juice in the sauce as well and y'all this is fire mm. and let me tell you something if you have not made salmon in the air fryer you need to start because i had the salmon on the ninja if you put stuff on the air fry option it automatically sets it to 390 degrees i didn't mess with that degree temperature um so i kept it at 390 and I air fried it for 10 minutes. And y'all, like, I really just want y'all to see how damn good this looks. And look at how fire my camera is. You can't even see me. <laughs> mm. Y'all, like, look. It's flaky, but it's not dry. And that's the way I like my salmon. So anyway, I'm gonna finish eating. And I'll pop back in with y'all in a few. All right, y'all. So I am here opening up my cow pack luggage. I got the two-piece amber set that has been sold out for months. So this box felt very lightweight. I was a little nervous because I'm like, the two things really fit in here but so this um set is actually final sale because it was on sale um so i got both suitcases for 230 dollars okay hush all right so i think this is really cool because it comes with a dust bag jackson please give it a rest this is so pretty the dust bag actually has like, um, it's kind of like a diaper where it literally fits over the wheels um, just to protect your suitcase from any like damaging that we all know um, TSA does. So I thought that was really cool, especially because I actually bought some protectives for this case. So this is the larger case. <laughs> small carry-on which I do wish that this carry-on came with the same dust bag because like obviously if you do something for one you should do them for both but anyway we're gonna set that aside for now as Jack Jack checks out the whole perimeter of my suitcase so the one thing that I really love about Kyle Pack is that the both of the sides you can actually like put your items in so some suitcases as you know you can only put your clothes in one side or on one side, but not with Cal Pack. So 
You get a cool zipper pouch here for any small items. You get your um, butterfly clasp here to secure your clothes. which is really cool. And then you get this zippered part that secures whatever you put in on the side. Really? <laughs> really? It's not a vacuum cleaner, so I don't know why you're tripping. So inside of the larger one, we have an insert that is a TSA combination lock instructions, and they give you like a little lock pin. Um, so I'm not sure how to use that right now, but I'm definitely gonna utilize it. I love it. I love the rose gold detail. It's not too loud, not too shiny, and the suitcase itself is very lightweight. And as I'm shaking it, I notice that this has like a like a bounce effect to it. Um, so as far as the small one, the carry-on, um, it has a large main compartment with interior features, four double spinner wheels for 360 gliding, expandable zipper for extra packing capacity, TSA approved combination lock for extra security, and a two year limited warranty. I didn't purchase the warranty for this bag because I knew that CalPack would come with some sort of warranty. Um, I also have a CalPack um, Kaya backpack for work. So I'm used to CalPAC's um, customer service, which is amazing, and their quality, which is also amazing. So, um, so yeah, I think $230 for this suitcase set was really a good deal. Voila! And you have both sides where you can place your clothes. And it does say that CalPAC's limited two-year warranty um it protects the purchaser against defects in material and workmanship for up to two years from the original date of purchase and i'm actually going to show you all my kaya book bag to show you what damage i got within the first year because i think well at least at the time when i got my kaya backpack for christmas um it had a one-year warranty and my backpack started to kind of fray and stuff at like right before the one year mark and they sent me a replacement with no problems. So, um, so yeah, it does say that if defective, this product will be repaired or replaced with the same or similar product at the discretion of CalPAC. Um, so this is my very loved Kaya backpack that I got two years ago from my dad for Christmas. And um, right here is where the bag started to split. Um, nothing that um, like a leather doctor <laughs> couldn't fix. But because I got it for a gift and I knew it had a warranty, I went ahead and filed for the um, warranty dispute. And I have a new one upstairs that I haven't even taken out of the dust bag because right after this, um, right after I found out that this was defective, I think we got sent home for work um, due to the coronavirus, and I have not been in an office since 2019. So I haven't had a use to break out my new Kaya backpack. I love the Kaya. Oh, I didn't even realize, y'all. I love that. The handles are pink. I mean, it's not like pink is not my favorite <laughs> color or anything. That is so cool. They're like reflective pink handles. But I am in love even more. Y'all can't tell me nothing. Anyway, what I was trying to say before that happened is the Kaya backpack has this strap so that you can place it onto your luggage with no issues. I'm actually waiting for the, um, I think it's called the Steven Duffel bag. Um, because you can put like your shoes at the bottom of it and stuff. I'll put an image up here somewhere, but I want the Steven Duffel because it would match this. You have two, you have space for two shoes in that carry on duffel and, um, it's been sold out for the longest. So, um, so yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling, but I do remember saying that I purchased some clear protective covers for these suitcases. So I'm gonna show you all what those look like now. It smells like one of those, um, 
Those swimming pools we used to blow up when we were kids. That's exactly what it smells like. You attach it, and then boom. You don't have to worry about TSA messing up your investment. And it literally works and rolls as it should. And pick your suitcase up. Jackson, give it a rest. And everything is reinforced, so it's not like it's going to break anytime soon. And it rolls like it should. Uh, I hope y'all love this little unboxing for CalPack. And any other CalPack stuff that I get in the future, I will absolutely let y'all know. So